Interstellan Keller! At least if I was blind and deaf, I'd have an excuse for being so disoriented. Ah. Interstellar is a movie that takes place in a hellish future where everything is corn. I assume that Nebraska won a war of some sort. And Matthew McConaughey is a spaceman. But then space got cancelled, so he grows corn now. McConaughey has a dumb daughter, and she thinks there is a ghost, and look, you're just gonna have to roll with some shit here. Everything I'm telling you is from like the first three minutes, and if you couldn't tell, this movie is fucking dumb. Speaking of fucking dumb, Daughter Girl is like, You said that science is about admitting what we don't know. And McConaughey is all, How did you manage to get assume it's a ghost out of that? You know, it is astounding how poorly we communicate to the point where I can tell you something outright and you completely misunderstand what I mean. And then he goes to space and his daughter misunderstands that the only reason he went to space is because he hates her on purpose and then she never talks to him ever again and then 60 years later she sees a clock ticking weird and because the clock ticks weird she is allowed to invent saving the world because why wouldn't she assume that if a clock was was ticking weird, it was her dada in a black hole. As a ghost! A parent and child's connection is so deep that it transcends space and time. He's got a son too, but he, he doesn't love that one. That one doesn't count. Look, this is a human story about human characters. You shouldn't care how making a clock tick weird saves the world because you shouldn't want to have to sit through that fucking scene. Like this movie's not boring enough already. I got bored doing this. I guess the takeaway is Interstellar was never about space. It's about heart. The real space was in here all along. Ah!